大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，我是莫赛西。大家好，
That is a brave person. Most of my surgery happens downstairs, downstairs. on the first floor in the operating room, yeah. Okay. This is an x-ray machine. We took out a dog bone from somebody's foot with this machine. Muscle Somebody had stepped foot. on a bone and a sharp part of it had broken off. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was really nasty. You can imagine how dirty oh, it was. Yeah. We call those foreign bodies, and they're pretty rewarding when you get those out. It was pretty good. <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah. I pulled out sea urchin spines. So someone had gone Mushy. on vacation and they were just stuck in there for a yeah. while. So dad's preparing to see his first patient right now. But usually you said that in the mornings you try to get some paperwork and dictations done. Always paperwork. Always. I remember that from a young age. Yeah. Like sometimes you'd have to bring it home and I always felt really bad. So an example of a note would be something like this. Patients alert nor in type 3, pleasant, cooperative, no acute distress, or extremely amputable, stupid, set of foreskin, or no perfuse, neurological status, in type 1st, torso, place, all five toes, tetris, palpation, <laughs> lens, hollux valgus with bunion. The poor transcription. <laughs> oh my! I'm so impressed. Okay, so dad's in seeing a patient right now, and this is Maria. Hi. I actually went to high school with Maria. I know. So this is so cool. <laughs> What's it like working with my dad? Actually, he's one of the funnest doctors to work with. That makes yeah. me so happy. <laughs> so it's definitely like comfortable to just work with him, and if I don't know anything, it's comfortable enough to say like I don't know how to do that. He's a jokester. <laughs> yeah. Like, he loves to make people laugh, and he does that with patients. You're back. You've now seen. Two patients? Yeah, two dictations? About a half an hour to do all that. Yeah, so I schedule rechecks for 15 minutes and news for 30 minutes. I do know doctors who spend an hour with them. But you so. don't rush people. So no. You just kind of go with the flow. No, I don't. I have a hard time doing that. This is Russell. Hi, he Russell. is our orthotics uh, biomechanics specialist. Are you going back to see your third? Okay, bye. What is it like working with my dad? <laughs> Oh, it's really good. If it's a really long, busy day, he has a good sense of humor and he keeps things kind of light. So is this how we can tell if someone has a fungus in their toenails? We put the nail inside here and we let it grow for two weeks. And if it's positive, it'll turn red or it'll look kind of like that. Oh, just grow some fungus. my gosh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hey. It's birthday, Jane! Day to you! <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh man, a rainbow pinata! This is a birthday card. It says Jane. Oh, how cute! Amelia and Barrett. Oh my goodness! Now it's 12:40. It's time for dinner. Today, the dinner has what kind of menu? And the menu has dinner. So your lunch was not really a lunch. Well, for lunch, yeah, we met with a rep who has some different products that we might need to use in surgery. But she did at least bring food. Yeah, that was really nice. She brought really good Indian curry. So how many patients did you see this morning? Looks like I saw about 12. I see between 20 and 30 patients every uh, day. In a day. Okay, so you got to go see more patients, but in a little bit, I want to ask you about what it's been like during COVID. Yeah, doctor. things are amount. coming back slowly to normal, but yeah, it's been a very strange year. Hi, we miss you. Your head looks really enlarged. No, you have Max and Dolly. Love you. Love you too, have fun. So how long do you see people for in Taiwan? You guys can tell us if that's how it is everywhere, but my experience in Taiwan is that the doctor's in a room, I go in and meet with them, and then once I'm done, I leave, and the doctor stays, and the nurses stay there. That's been my experience every time. I wanted to ask you a little bit about what it's been like with COVID. For one thing, we're wearing these masks. We don't shake hands with anybody. We have to wear gloves for any contact. When we do surgery on people, they have to go through a COVID test. I oh yeah, because you surgery. won't operate if they yeah. are positive. I have done surgery on two patients who were COVID positive, but you have to wear a whole space suit. When you sent that, I immediately thought of that Among Us game. You looked exactly like those little characters. Is it hard to do surgery in that kind of get up? It has a fan that blows cool air into your suit the whole time. How many patients have you had test positive so that you couldn't operate on them? Is that common? I don't know, three or four. People have like no symptoms at all. 
They have yeah. no idea they have COVID, then they'll get a test and it will come back positive. Yeah, you have to wait four weeks. Until you can operate. Mm -hmm. wow. So I had a patient who had a broken bone. By the time we operated, she was almost completely healed in the wrong position. But we had to wait four weeks because she had COVID. Oh she my. healed in the wrong position. We had to go in and kind of re-break it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That yeah. would be such a nightmare. So for a while during the early stages of COVID, we wouldn't even see patients. I would just call people on the phone or do a telehealth a conference. Telehealth. Okay. Uh -huh. Clinic is closed. You're done seeing patients for the day? Well, sort of. We have one patient uh, at the end of clinic who has special needs. <laughs> it's Cindy. <laughs> so in this case, I said this patient has a painful toenail. You just feel the pulses in the feet. But generally, we already know when it's an ingrown toenail, we kind of know that we have to kind of trim it out. And how common are these? Things? Most of the time we do one every day. The most common thing we see by far, any foot doctor sees is heel pain, what we call plantar fasciitis, pain right mm -hmm. here. You get out of bed in the morning and it's sore and you can hardly walk. Then it warms up a little, feels better, and then toward the end of the day it gets more sore. That's called plantar fasciitis. So shots in the toes sting a little bit, so we spray with ice before we do it. We give a five second ice spray to take away the poke, and then we go ahead and do it. Okay, perfect, let's go right there. Five, four, three, two. It's not that bad. It just feels really cold and there's a lot of pressure. So you'll notice this side of the nail has some swelling and some peeling skin. This is where most of the nail is getting ingrown. So we're going to trim that. So this is chlorhexidine. It kills germs. And then we just test her numbness with this little instrument. Does that poke? Just a little pressure. And then we just trim the nail. We have to trim the nail straight back though. Oh, I'm going to just stay up here. So we trim it straight back. And then we use a freer, it's called, to take out the corner of the toenail. Can you feel that, Cindy? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like sweating right now watching. <laughs> I love this. I love watching. <laughs> Sit down. Put just... your head between your knees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can look at it again. There it is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay back here where I can't see it. Okay, so there we have cleaned out the nail fold and gotten the nail out of from under the skin. So she's done. We're gonna wrap it up. She's gonna soak it to keep it clean. We don't make a very deep wound here at all. Very, very rare for that to get infected. This is one of our favorite, my favorite things to do. I can look at this part. Wow. All set. I've always been like really scared of having to see you as a patient. I'd be terrified to see me. <laughs> What happens now? This is the end of the day. You so at the end of the day, I have to finish my charts. Most important thing, every Wednesday I water Haley's plant. Wait, really? Yes. It might be the ugliest plant I've ever seen. <laughs> it has a lot of sentimental value. It really looks like it's dead. Tell us how you feel at the end of the day. It's 6 o'clock. You've been here since 8 a.m. I usually feel pretty excited to be done with the day. I look forward to seeing you guys okay. or going to ride my bike or going to work out or something like that. It's always a good feeling to be done with a good day. Watching you also made me like really respect people who are on call and are working through all of this pandemic. Well, there have been a lot of people putting in a lot of extra hours during the pandemic, and I want to say thank you to them also. You are in your jail, and thank you so much to Dr. Mo for letting us follow him around. Hope you guys really enjoy this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 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 This kills me. Hello, everyone. 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 呃其实我就是我留胡子的原因是因为没有胡子我看起来好像是十六岁左右<笑>